Hi everyone, welcome back to my tech super channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at one of the important validation when we use the input date type of components in visual filter. So this is required in each and every projects wherein you require to use the input date component of visual filter. So guys, before we start, I will ask everyone to subscribe my channel to get regular updates of my YouTube channel and you can get all videos in your notification list as soon as I publish a new video. So also would like to give one useful information. I have authored one book on the visual builder. The title of this book is Effortless App Development with Oracle Visual Builder. If you are really wanted to learn visual builder with a lot of real time examples, you would like to be proficient in visual builder. This is the right book and please go ahead and then buy it. So if you wanted to buy it, you can simply uh, use this URL and uh, put it in the browser URL and it will take you to the Amazon site from where you can buy this book. Okay, so let's get started. So here in this uh, video, I will show you a different different type of examples means total five examples I will show you like how to disable future date first of all. So for example, you are sitting today Okay, and you don't want your users to select the future date. So you can do this in the input components, like let's suppose today is the 15th of July and you don't want your users to select the future state. You only want your users to select the date, which is less than 15th or equal to 15th of July. So this is one of the examples. The second examples might be, you only want users to select future date means today's date plus 10 more days. So this is another example. It might be 10 days, it might be a 30 days, it might be a 90 days or so. So sometimes there's a requirement that you don't want your users to select that date, which is more than the 90 days or the 30 days. So this is another example, which I'm going to show you. So here you see in this example, let's suppose today is a 15 date. So what I have done, I have disabled the future date of of the next 10 days. So means the user can only select the date, which is more than the 10, which is less than the 10 days only or equal the 10 days from current date. So this is the future, disabling the future date examples. How to disable past dates? So there might be a possibility that you don't want users to select the past date means you only want your users to select only the current dates and more than that. So this is another example. There might be another example that you only want you, your users to select of the last 10 days, not more than that. Or you don't want your users to select the date which is beyond the 30 days or beyond, not beyond means the which is uh, means you don't want your users to select the date, which is, uh, which is means in the past, which is of the more than 30 days or so. So this is another example, which I'm going to explain. So another examples, you have a two date, two, two pickers, right? First picker, date picker, the second date picker. And you want your users to select only the second date, which is greater than the first selected date. So here, let's suppose you have selected a 17th of July. Then you want users, you want your users to select only the 17th or beyond that. Means it should be greater than or equals to the selected date. So there are the different examples which I'm going to show you as part of this video. So let's get started. So let's get started. So I have created one application here and let me select a date component. Okay. And let's put a date here. It is the thing is the input date. So let's change the caption. Let's say disable future date. Right. This is the one example. So here, when you go to the all properties here, we have one property called max. The max property of the input date. Okay, wherein you want to provide, you can provide any variable value as well as you can provide the expression. So here, what I'm going to do, let's say max and here, just provide this expression. It is nothing like, it is like uh, oj.intl 
convert util. So this is one of the class, and the function is date dot date to local ISO, and then I am passing the new date means the current date. So it will convert automatically, and will say means disable the date which are maximum the two days date. Okay, means the future date will be disabled. So this is the maximum property. Okay. Now, if you go to the live mode, it's very simple. Go to the live mode. And now if you select your calendar, you see today is the 15th of July. All the future states are disabled. Means you are not allowed to select the future dates. This is first of the example, very simple. Don't worry, I will paste uh, the expression in the, uh, in the description of this video. So this is the first example. Again, let's put an, another example here. Let me just again change the property of it. Let's say disable future date two. Okay, so this is the another example. So here, what I'm going to do, I have written a simple JavaScript here. So it's very simple JavaScript. So this is the JavaScript function which I have written. So what it is doing, so it's the add and here, I am just getting the current date in the current date variable and another date I am getting in the future date. Let's suppose you wanted to increase, you only want your users to select the current date, which is greater, which is greater than the 10 days, right? Only and you not beyond it. So what I can do, I have done future date dot set date and then getting the date of current date plus 10. So this is a 10 days I am adding in my future date. So if you want, you can say 20 days. If you want, you can say 30 days. So I'm just only doing for 10 days and I will call this function here. So again, go here, min and so not, so not min, let's say max. Similarly, I will, here you can see, you can select the functions, okay? Select the function and this is the add function. But before I do this, let me just Okay, no worries, go here only. And then go here max. And then select your add function, which will add the days. And now then I will put the same expression. And I will take this function and I will pass this function in this particular method. So this is fine. Fine, right. Now, if you go live and now you will see, here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Only the next 10 days are available to select. Beyond that, all are disabled. So let me just again show you what I have done. I have created the JavaScript function and in the max property, again, I am just using the same function, same function date to local ISO and then passing the JavaScript function here, right? So this is how you can do this. Right. Now go back again, let's see another example to disable the past date. Let's say disable past date right again go to the property of the state and here you select the minimum as we have the max similarly we have the minimum property again pass the same expression which we have selected here in the max right and now pass it in the min property of it means all the dates all the past dates will be disabled. Here you can see today is the 15th of July. All the past dates are disabled and users are not allowed to select the past date, right? Let's take another example. Let's say again, disable future disable past date to another example, okay? 
similar to the add function, I have created another function called minus. So this minus function is the same. The only difference is here, I am just subtracting the number of days. If you wanted to subtract more days, again, you can change this value. Okay, so now I'm just doing the 10 days. Go back, similarly, go here, go to the all, and here also select the min property. Select this thing first of all, okay? The minus function, and the minus function I will pass into this function, copy this, and then paste it here. Fine, and then remove this expression. Fine, again, go to the live mode and here you will see users are only allowed to select the dates, which is fifth only. Beyond that, users are not allowed. So this is how you can do this. Now, the total for example, I have shown you, fine. Now let's go ahead and let's try to put two more input dates here and let's say, disable, let's say from, okay. And here I will put another function and here I will say two. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to create a variable here and I will say from date. Okay, so this is a string type variable. It's very simple. And again, go to the page designer and here, select the from date and go to the date data property and select this variable which we have created. So what will happen as soon as you will select a date from this input date column, it will go to the from date. Select this two date and I don't want my users to select the date which is less than the from date. It means it should be greater than or equal to the from date. Again, go here, go to the min property of it and then select the value column. Fine. Now go here and now here you see you can select all the data as of now, but here you can select all dates here. Now here let's say 15. Now users will not be able to select the date 14, 13 and 12. You see in the two. You see? And here if you again try to select 17, and here you will see only 17 and beyond that. So this is how you can use your input date function and apply different, different restriction on the input date. I will add these to JavaScript function in the description of this video. You can take it from there. So guys, that's all about this uh, short video. If you have any question, please keep us posted. I will happy to assist you. You can find me over LinkedIn. You can find me over Twitter, Facebook. You all already know my YouTube channel. You can find me in Pinterest. You can always see my blog for the latest information. HTTPS colon slash slash www.taxapper.com. If you like the video, please like, comment, share, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good day.